Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss how to implement a timer into your game and how to make things happen based on if your players can succeed before the time limit. First, you'll need an event that starts the timer. On our map, in event mode, we will click where we want the event. I will set up a text and give it a picture. On the next diamond, I will go to control timer Make sure it's on start, and set the desired time. I will put 5 seconds for this tutorial, then give it an image. Once this is done, apply. We will then make the event that ends the timer. I will click down here, action button, text, image, and OK. On the next black diamond, I will go back to control timer, stop, and OK. Give it an image, apply, and OK. Now that we have the start and the end, we need to make an event that will decide what happens if the timer runs out. Click any square on your map, go down to trigger and choose parallel. Click your black diamond and go to conditional branch. Once here, on tab 1, go to timer. Make sure it's on less than and zero. Click OK when you're ready. Now decide what you want to happen if the timer reaches zero before the player is ready. We will click the black diamond under if and choose game over. Apply and OK. Once you have these three things, you can test your game. Make sure you save your changes before playing. Now, when I talk to this character, the time limit is in the top right. If it goes down to zero, our parallel event will give us a game over. If I do the event again, but finish it, the timer vanishes and you don't get game over. We can also give our player an escape route. I will click on a spot, give an image, choose the diamond, make it so that we transfer our player to a different map, and also make sure I give another diamond, tab 1, control timer, and stop timer. This way, once the timer starts, I can escape and have no timer. You can also make a timer automatically activate when a player enters a room. To do this, click your spot, choose Auto Run, the first diamond, control timer, start and give it a time, and immediately under, erase event. You may add text before the timer or after the timer if you decide. Apply and OK when you're ready. We can now test our game. And we see that the moment I enter the map, the timer starts. We can stop it by either of the two methods we used earlier. That is the end of this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what I should make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.